Okay, today we're going to do a vlog. I left some stuff to clean up for you. I mean, do I ever not do a vlog, really? I'm going to take these curtains down. I have them up because that is my white wall for toy reviews, or at least on one of the channels. It suits it better. My dioramas are more warm and uh, cozy, so that's more acceptable. It's also a great backdrop for know when we're talking I love toys so much it's insane I love baby toys and I've been really focusing on opening opening and playing with toys you can see that I like wooden toys um, yeah th th that is also see wooden toys wooden 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 meats insane and uh, yeah the dichotomy of me liking plastic junk and this is something that I wanted to, I'm taking these down. These are so cool. They're probably super dusty. In fact, they're not probably, I know they are. I keep banging into this. You see how they're just teetering on the edge of the shelf? I made these shelves. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes I'll, like I'm clumsy and I'll, I'll bump into the shelf. This one keeps falling and it has huge cracks in it where it's broken. So yeah, I mean, it's broken on the back so you can't tell. And I have them up there and they're not supposed to be up there. There was never supposed to be anything on the top shelves. It was my plan. This is all natural clean. Get all the toys out of here and you would just have two colorful pieces of artwork yet things just build up i didn't know where to put those i think i'm gonna save one and then maybe save like the components because you can mix and match components and make them all one color however i have a blue i think both of those doors are broken because it's dropped so many times i never really like the gold one there's just, I used to, when I used to make things with Lego, I used to make stuff like this, like stuff that transformed, um, like there was a transformer that, uh, that was a, a ghetto blaster, but it's just, I don't, the bright colors of these, I just love this toy so much, and it's not a Mattel toy. Oh, however, Fisher Price, this is not a toy channel, I don't, <laughs> I'm scaring a lot of people away, probably. Um, I should be talking about fashion. Speaking of fashion, I hate this shirt, which I thought I loved this shirt. It's a good thing I didn't buy 10 of them, which I was going to. Anyway, this is cool 80s, just fake 80s toys. There's a new Fisher Price record player. Like, you might know there's a classic Fisher Price record player, but there's a new one with sleeves, and it just it looks so cool. It looks so retro vintage. Yeah, it's it's an it's an amazing design toy, just as this is. But I guess red, yellow, and blue. I keep the. I just when I got these, I made sure that I had enough. There's tiny little records in here to play that little record players on top of the speakers, and I got enough so that I could mix and match them. So I could have two record players in blue, or I could make it pink, or I could make them yellow, and then I could switch up the color of the plate. Oh yeah, and then the backs of these are different colors too. So that's that is the dilemma. But I don't. What do I use these for? What? Maybe I just. I mean, now that I'm playing with it, I'm really sparking joy. But maybe I replace it with something else. Maybe, maybe I like that record player better than I like this. It, you can see it doesn't stay together well because this was a blind box and this was a blind box and this was a blind box and they came with like little dolls in them. But for the first, I wanted the plastic packaging. Anyway, oh yeah, they're coming down. That's that's part of today's video. They they do fall apart easy. I just dropped that one, but I didn't drop it. Drop it. I was just placing it down, and it came apart. But we should be careful. I'm gonna have to dust those off and uh, look at them and see that one that's broken, and then and then let's just let's just look and address how much nicer how much nicer this looks when you're just, you know, containing one thing, even though that's kind of messy. It's kind of a work wall, too. Favorites, work wall. These also have to come down. I won't do that with you. Uh, I just took down two toys 
right there for a review I was doing. Um, I managed to I managed to get rid of some stuff, a, a small box, only a tiny little box of stuff that I said, hey, I don't want. I know that I'm going to sell these. I've decided to do that because I already have them. I need, sometimes I need to buy things to make things easier. I've been buying a lot of these boxes recently to put things that I know that I love inside. So I have been focusing on, on the things that I love and my hair also has grown a little bit so I guess it's just that one time I mean I don't want to talk badly about people who are on chemotherapy and how but you do end up looking like an alien sometimes when I have really light eyebrows and and I guess maybe that might have a lot to do with it so when I like how it doesn't look like it's gray but when I cut it too short, it just, you know, it just looked too alien. Now it looks kind of like punky and it's okay. I, yeah, I cut it too short, but it's, it's going, and I think I had no stubble on my face either, even though it's so subtle, but it makes a huge difference. So yeah, I need to buy a new binder because, oh, I don't know if you watched that video, who would watch that video? But anyway, I was doing it. So it was something I was doing, so I sat down and I did it. And I put all my music cards. I'm missing one, but I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video because I looked it up. There was a place online where it showed you uh, all of the cards and uh, what was a mistake and which numbers were a mistake and what was supposed to be instead because there were reprints. This must be the first edition, but I was just missing one. But I looked at the card and I thought I remembered seeing it when I actually was opening the packages on my toy channel, I did that video. So I might have to go back and watch my own video for once. I mean, I did the other day, went back and watched one of these videos, and I've come on here before and told you that I actually like my videos, but I did not like my video. I was all over the place. I know that I'm kind of all over the place today in this video. The lighting's bad. It's kind of a, kind of a darker, day out. You can't really tell. Uh, I have, um, uh, speaking of this, pl I was talking about plastic that I liked. These are little things that were to hold like figures into cardboard packaging. It, 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 it's, it, it's killing me to throw these things out. It's not always, it's not all fasteners and stuff. There's just, there's just something really cool about these. I like they're kind of translucent plastic and they're, and they're kind of like made from recycled plastic. There's a feel to recycled plastic that I really like. Anyway, I can't keep every piece of junk, but I do know that I want to keep these things. I just need a box to put them in. I know that they have pride priority. I was kind of playing with those things and then I opened some other things on toy. I've been doing a lot of videos, but I am making more money. I mentioned that a, a couple of times too. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to say. Uh, and I shouldn't have uh, started the video talking about that thing because this isn't supposed to be a video about toys. Here, let's shift the focus away. So there's no toys in sight. And I was, I thought, I was just going to fold, put my, put my clothes away. This is a sweatshirt that uh, my brother gave me from the prison that he used to work in. <laughs> and that's right. And uh, maximum security. And uh, maybe one day I'll, I will live there. I use it for yard work, so it doesn't it doesn't fit that great. But it's a it's definitely good for when it's a colder day and I need to be outside raking leaves in in the fall and sometimes in the early spring. And then this is the sweatshirt I wear all the time. Oh, and that's something else that I wanted to tell you too. All of the blue ones, all of the colored stuff th that I have. Like I tried, I forced myself to wear it and I'm not, there's no, why bother? I have so many gray and black ones that I actually want to wear, that I actually like. 
this t-shirt is looking nice, but it, it doesn't look nice. Um, it happened to me the other day. I put this t-shirt on and said, okay, I am going to get rid of all of the other ones because they're all like getting dingy and old, which could be good, but they're also kind of small. And this one's a little looser than the other ones. And I like the way it fit. But then after I had it on, so I'm testing it again today. Yeah, it's kind of doing that, making it even bigger here. It's like getting skirty. That happens to me. I, I don't have... I don't have a big bum, but my pants stretch out, and then my shirt stretches out at the bottom, and then it makes me hate that my shoulders aren't broad enough, and maybe they should be broader, and maybe I just have to focus on exercise. Maybe that's all I should be doing is just exercising 24-7 instead of being a stupid um, little toy boy. I should, be, um, I should become a gym bro instead. And, uh, but I'm 50 and it hurts. It really, really hurts. And normally I would not hang a sweater there, but I did hang it there. There's a podcast coming on. It's a live podcast and I'm going to listen to it. Why? I guess I clean some more, which is a good thing. I have not been selling things on, on, on eBay. Like I, I I mentioned this yesterday in that video that I'm sure nobody watched because it was so long and I and it's just so sporadic and stuff but it, this is a good time to re-mention it I'm trying to wait it, the, do you know what hurts my back not not lifting heavy things not doing but if I put myself in a position like I can't sit down like I can't sit down or lay down because those are the positions that hurt my back. I should actually start uh, sleeping on the floor. I hear that's really good for your back and it fixes everything. Initially, it's really hard because you're sleeping on a hard surface, but your body adapts and it gets, uh, and it starts being beneficial to you. So I might do that and I know at the end of yoga classes, I would always fall asleep on the floor. Folding my underwear, you probably would want to see me folding my underwear. I always have to put, I, they come in three colors, they have to go together. The heather gray ones, I don't want to wear the other colors. I have to force my, they, should be, they, they come in packs of um, gray and black and red but I really only want to wear the gray ones and I save them for best, which is really funny. I just like how, I like how they feel. I like how they wash. However, these are all old and stretched out and not perfect, but you know what? In an ideal world where I would be like, uh, you know, I could take a shower after, you know, I would wear white underwear, 100% white underwear all the time. Everything, white t-shirts and uh, white underwear, which I love. It, you just know that they're clean, they, they're fresh, they're wonderful. I guess I have to invest in, well, I do have Calvin Klein white underwear that I don't wear. But I mean, my lifestyle isn't ready for that. So this dollar store underwear, which is pretty nice underwear it's very it's actually very nice I like it a lot I just really want to wear the gray ones all the time and I guess that's what I'm saying so in a different time in a different world in a different place I would wear the same way that I love white sheets I would wear just white underwear and here here, here we go oh yeah this is something that I wanted to show you so this is the first time that I've left I usually take this down uh, but I, I've recently found that I like to hang that there and I have mentioned this before I do actually do remember because the way that I put the other two it's like some kind of room divider thing that I had or I guess maybe it is a drying rack I'm not sure what it was it was just an antique thing that I picked up it used to be attached the three segments like a room divider it used to be attached together with three like um, rope ribbons and uh, I um, remove them and just use, have used them for different purposes. Like right now, it's my, it turned this window into a pioneer window and the way that I can adjust the curtains 
just by hanging them in different ways. Like I do that if I'm in the bathroom and I want more circulation. I just fold this up a little bit so that a little bit of air comes in and yeah, I just put this over here. I can't do it with one hand. And then nobody can see in, like there's enough, there's a gap that people can't look in, but at the same time I'm getting more airflow than if it's down. But it's just the bottom of the window that opens. So when I want most airflow, I just do that. And then this always stays open and there's always light coming in. There's nobody looking down at me. So that's what I did there. And plus it gives my new window an old fashioned pioneer look that I uh, really, really love. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Who, who, whoever does that, who does that? So anyway, I had that window and I had that thing and I had no place to store it. It was just kept getting in the way. And then I thought, why don't I just hang that in the window with some S hooks? And uh, I usually take it down to dry stuff on it. I always dry my darks and you should too. Drying your darks means that the colors won't fade and it won't pill and uh but whites whites can be dried so i do dry all the whites it makes things sometimes drying makes things softer and stuff too and uh you know, i guess i want whites to be i like rigid things though i do like my sheets to be rigid that's not a popular penny anyway that looks nice in the window and then let's see can i place this or place to place this down then here let me put you down here that looks so, especially with the tree growing. Now, what a what a beautiful time of the year. Yeah, I do feel like I'm uh, living in Prince Edward Island, which maybe that's where I want to live. No, I want to live. I do want to live in a city. I really, I think I definitely want to move back to Quebec. Maybe that should be my goal, but in an old castle. And then I have the S hooks here. So we just hang that on there. It kind of looks like a kite. It's a sculpture. It's a beautiful wooden stuff that I love. I'm always seeing them. It's not really obstructing the view. It's out of the way. I don't have to put it on the floor, put it in the closet or anything. That's, that was, that's, that's my pioneer shaker quaker kind of how I get by. All right, and then here, here under my bed now, I have, uh, oh yeah, okay, so the, I th I'm, I'm really liking my hair, I don't, I hated it yesterday, today it's okay, I mean, I, I really hated it two days ago, but then I remembered I kept these hats because I might need them, because my head might get burnt a little bit with the hair this short, but I mean, that's really only going to happen once. And I'm gonna to be too sweaty. I keep, I keep, I keep putting these hats in the donation pile, and then I keep bringing them back. And I didn't wear them last year because it's just too hot to wear a hat. And you know what? I don't like how I look. And um, yeah, they're not flatter. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. It's still up in the air. I'm. You know what I am over though? Baseball caps, which I never thought that would happen. This haircut looks really bad with a baseball cap. It, again, I look like I'm on, I'm having chemotherapy. It's just, I guess, because you know, the hair is so so much lighter and grayer here. So it, all you do is see skin. So it does look really funny when I put a hat on. I think I do miss this long hair, but I was not liking how it looked. And the, oh yeah. I think I think what happened I can just talk about my hair for ever and ever and videos videos and videos full of my hair about talking you don't know what a struggle it is it's just it's not it's not it, it, there's so much hair it's so abundant when it grows too long it just makes my head so big and then it makes my body look even smaller and then I feel more self-conscious my shoulders are even smaller than because my head's so friggin big and why do I care so much about the way I look? I care because that's the only thing I ever had going for me. I'm, 
I can't, I have no train of thought. I'm unarticulate. I mean, I can be at times. <sighs> so funny. That, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the worst part. The worst part is that there's little parts of me that are articulate and are charismatic and are handsome, but there's so many other parts of me that are not at all those things. So that's, that's the problem. I get confused. I get nothing. It's not good. Man, I have not grown. There's, there's just nothing's good enough. And, and I'm entitled and my nose is itchy. And I guess that's because it's the time of year. So I just have my underwear and my, I usually did a, do a better rotation than that. I usually make sure that I put all the ones that I've worn down far below and I put all of the new ones on top. But right now I just threw them in there. A hoodie sweatshirt. Oh, I saw a video where somebody said, um, 40 year old men aren't supposed to wear hoodies, but that's really all I want to wear. Oh yeah, and that's, I talked about that. Like I couldn't go out in public, especially with this haircut, without covering up my head. But it was before I shaved my head. Um, it's just, it's such a shock to my system. I look so different and it, it's just so gray now. 49, boom, like everything. The skin on my neck started to get, be loose. Uh, I guess the texture of the skin on my face has been changing for quite a while, which I don't like. But I also saw another podcast or listened to another podcast where somebody was talking about um, older men being with younger women and why would the younger woman want sandpaper skin on them? And I'm thinking, oh my God, is that me? Am I, am I like a creepy old man? I mean, I look into the camera here and I think I look young, but sometimes I see footage of me. I don't have my glasses on. Again, another thing deteriorating. I talked about not being able to do the... No, no, I can't exercise as much. I mean, maybe I have to find something different to do. Maybe I just have to deal with the pain. It's not so bad. Like, I have this, just this constant... Well, it's not there now, because I've been being very careful, but a constant pain in my shoulders, constant pain in my elbows, like this, you can just hear it. There's this like this specific place where it affects. And I looked it up online. There's, I'm gonna, I'm trying to do like um, push-ups in a special way where they um, don't affect it and work up to being able to do a regular push-up again. So I'm testing that out maybe I can fix it that way and then we'll see about the tennis elbow and uh, I don't I don't know I am like I'm and, and maybe maybe this stuff is people are used to this stuff like people this is what happens to people when they're 35 years old and uh, I was just lucky that it's it's all hitting me now once at 50 and uh, I mean it's so funny like and it really did like and it's not a mental thing like 49 I noticed as things were that year the 49 year was like there's strange things happening like I my my eyebrows long hairs growing like I googled all this stuff and it's like something does happen to your it uh yeah it's a it's a it's a chemical reaction happening in your thing I don't it's it's more maintenance too like i i mean i see those old men that have the really bushy long eyebrows and they they, they let it grow and it break but i don't have, i never had to make time for this stuff and it's grooming shit and I have to shave my eyebrows now or or i don't know if it's an extra hair i'm afraid to pluck it out because am i going to pluck all my eyebrows out they're dark too they're black like i'm used to having blonde eyebrows so i think i'm going to look completely different soon because all of my eyebrows are turning a different color. I mean, they're eventually turn gray. So yeah, I'm, I am I am struggling. It's a constant struggle with being old. And I mean, that has so much to do with um, 
who I was and uh, the criticism that I got as a child and uh, what I wanted to do and what I grew into and what I did and the attention I got for what I was or who I was when I was at certain times and and the fact that sometimes I see myself and I look I feel like I look good and then when I find out that I, I see the reality of it and realize that I don't look good and then how much of it is body dysmorphia and I probably have been talking about this stuff all f from but I mean this is this is a big point this is a and then fitting in society and not fitting in society and then I don't and I am so different from all of society and and is it rain I think it's raining Oh man, I have so much outdoor stuff to do and yesterday was such a beautiful day and I should have been outside doing that stuff. And I did instead I stayed inside and I cleaned, which is a good thing. And I mean, I did get up early and I did lower all the prices on my eBay stuff, which is how I maintain my eBay, which works really, really well. I don't go below $50, $50 though, 50 some dollars depending. I have a technique where I uh, the, the digits so I know what has been listed when so I'm doing really good that way that's all really well organized but I have to put stuff on you know what I should tell myself I used to say at least do at least do an hour of stuff or at least do some time of the stuff but I should make my I could probably talk myself into doing at least one item today that would actually work I can only put on 250 items a month without being charged for it so I don't want to put too many items and I also want to get rid of the stuff that I have on so I really like my technique of putting stuff on at a lower price than everybody else that's how I started and then I keep lowering ten. if nobody buys it then I lower it I wait a, a week or two lower it ten more dollars it's better than putting up for auction because if you do that um, it's only a week long and then some pe people who are looking for this item might not look for it and then you lose items uh, when I first started doing eBay and I didn't realize I did put every started everything as an auction and I did lose a lot of money because I put some items that were worth a lot like hundreds of dollars more and because they weren't sitting there and uh, things that are sitting there and people can see them for long periods of time and they I mean that it, it just it just sells better that way that's my eBay lessons and advice and uh, the I know that people have seen um, Susan specifically you mentioned that uh, that I don't the stuff that is sitting there that is at fifty dollars that stuff usually does sell but I have new stuff because I keep lowering the price that ends up being fifty dollars but I don't like to go there and the reason I have them and keep them there is my I don't like when somebody buys something for fifty dollars even though it happens all the time because it's kind of a waste of my time my intention is that they will put they'll buy lots of things together the price is already amazing for the items um, they're way lower than anybody else sells them for so I'm hoping and expecting that people buy lots of things together and that in that way we make more money but eventually when because I am I, I do have them on a number system I will if they're there too long if they're like they're like over I don't know six months maybe a year um, at um, yeah if I have something that's been on eBay uh, that's a good thing for a year then I will I'll either lower it completely or just donate it but also I don't want to list new things either um, that's that's a whole like it's like I can group I could which I do I have taken things off eBay with my intentions to relist them together as a group like then I have to take new pictures with them with the group of things and then that is a whole that's a whole other thing that I'm not getting done and I have so many new toys that have never been put on eBay before that need to be listed so the priority would be to do them and if I don't get those listed how am I even going to take the old ones and list them so yeah I just I do have to weigh out what is actually worth something and I mean that's part of the job too of looking at 
who knew I was going to talk about eBay that much? Who knew I was going to talk about toys this much? I didn't want this video to be that long because I only had so much time. Let's put on my glasses and see. Oh, we have time. The podcast usually starts late anyway. Is there anything else that I want to talk about? I did talk about a lot of stuff in that uh, card sorting video yesterday. So if you you, you might want to watch that because I might have started out saying that I wasn't going to talk about anything, but I talked about a lot of stuff. It was probably all the same stuff that I talked about in this video. I have a lot to clean up though around here, so that is good that there is um, something for me to listen to Why I finish taking down the shelves. That looks so much better. It looks like uh, like, a, like a, a Charles Eames piece of art now, which was totally my intention. I should probably get rid of those cardboard boxes and then put something either colorful or something that I'm selling down at the bottom there so it matches. And then and then the little people wall. I gotta reconfigure that also. They bow. So I made these shelves myself. So every once in a while, maybe once a year, I will take these screws out, turn the board the other way around, so that they get a little rise here. I mean, I could anchor each thing, but uh, instead of doing that, that's, that, is, that is my other option. Even though that one's not bowing too much, I think I see maybe there's some heavier objects over there. So I, I do want to twist some of those around. Oh yeah, but why am I even doing, I have to move. And that's another problem. I'm not selling things fast enough and I need to be selling more things. And that sweatshirt has to come down. I just had it there because I didn't even want to I didn't even want to go out in my yard with people seeing my head and my face and the, and no hat looked good on me or anything and oh and today is an exercise day oh yeah so I'm I'm watching the podcast I do have to try doing some pull-ups and some I'll show you how oh yeah and I gotta figure that out too because it's too wide it's too wide. It was too wide, so I was. I'm. I'm doing push-ups like this, just on a to on up against the wall, totally slanted. But I really liked that I was getting more movement. I don't know. You might not know about this stuff, but I was getting a bigger stretch across the chest by doing it in a door frame. But I think my arms are too separated, and it is really agitating my elbows. And then we're, and then we're back to. We're back to injuring myself. So I guess, yeah, see? Always trying to, always trying to push too hard. Hey, but guess what? Not pushing hard enough because if I was pushing hard enough, I would have more and I don't have, you know what? I have so much. I mean, I have, is it, is it a balance? I mean, I have to say that, I have to say that. I mean, do I always say how happy I am? how wonderful everything is because I do I am, I really am grateful and I do love my stuff I mean I, I've really been appreciating my things lately um, I got look I got really nice things I even like my broom handles I don't I don't want to get rid of this broom handle it's beautiful I bought it at the dollar store but it's made of wood and it's got galvanized steel on it, and um, it's functional. I can use it for painting walls. I can use it for putting a, a broom head on here, and I do. And I can use it for drying clothes by putting it on here. These hooks that made me feel like, I think, because I, because these doors are so 1950s, and they don't have the 1800s feel that I like, but I think that does add a little shaker Quakerness to my. And these wall things definitely add a little shaker Quaker to. I mean, this. This is this is what I changed. Oh, I talked about that so many times as well. I want a Swedish ladder. I think it's a Swedish ladder. Hope it's not. Hope it's not some other kind. Not it's not a Switzerland ladder. I think it's a Swiss. Or is it a Swiss ladder? Swedish. Anyway, I would love to have something that looked like this on my wall that had a pull-up bar, and they do exist. So there are, oh yeah, I did want to talk, that is something that I did want to talk to you about. 
we were, I, I, I mentioned that in another video that I just did, how there would be things that aren't good enough. I mean, this is, it's black metal, so it's not bad, but there is something about it. It's probably the foam things on it. And you know what? I, I could probably replace it with one of just the regular bar ones because um, all of the different angles hurt my shoulders and elbows. Um, the, the thing that works best for me is just the straight bar. So I have to go on the inside and do the pull-ups from the straight bar. And I do them very slowly and very careful. And I feel to see if they're agitating my shoulders or elbows. And then I make adjustments from things that I've read. Oh yeah, and then this dry mop. One of the only things that I have that are unacceptable because it's made of plastic and it's red. I was okay with red for a while. Like I would buy plastic red buckets and to match the plastic. Oh, because all of that stuff from that brand, whatever it is, I think it's just a good quality um, mop and they make good cleaning supplies and they were available at my grocery store. But uh, you can get a much nicer dry mop, but I can't. I mean, that one's even broken. The handle's broken on it, and I don't even, I can't even use it. I mean, and this one doesn't fit on it because it's got a special handle on it. Um, they do have them at the Dollar Tree, though, in gray plastic, but it's a smaller mop. I mean, and then, so yeah, I have that, which I like to hide that in the closet. But most people have those things. They have things that um, they hide in their closet, like sometimes their toaster isn't nice. I had a, a cousin who had a show toaster, so she had a toaster that looked nice, but it didn't work very well. And then she had one that she, was ugly that she kept under the counter, but she kept the nice one on the counter because it looked nice. But uh, the one that she used that worked better didn't look as nice, so she hid that one away. So I guess I can relate to that but I'd rather just have um, a toaster that looked nice and did everything. Oh, that was something else that I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, a little happy accident here. So this is, I mean, I still have some dishes to do. It's a good thing. This pod, I hope the podcast started late. The Teflon thing started chipping and I went to the off price store and I found a little pot and uh, and instead of putting the Teflon thing in, I put the pot in and the rice cooker used to boil over and everything. So it's really strange that this works. It doesn't boil out this, I guess it's, it's a little taller. And I was concerned about that because the rice cooker pot actually went over, the lip went over. So if it boiled over, it wouldn't go inside, which you don't want that to happen. But I've cooked a lot with this and boiled a lot of water in it and it doesn't it never boils over even when i'm making rice and i've made rice with it and it's it's a blessing and it's so cool and it's not teflon so teflon is bad no stick surface i got this stainless steel pot i like that it has the glass lid and i can see and everything and it looks like it even belongs to it it make it made the appliance look even better i've been eating a lot of popcorn and uh, boiling water for tea and hot chocolate and uh oh and i need to clean this uh i need to clean the gratings on this i don't cr clean that every time i make potatoes um like sometimes i guess people don't clean their grills in the same way i i leave that on i bake the potatoes on here but this broke and the fact i took I don't think I don't think all men and boys and I guess women too and but I'm able to take things apart and fix them. Like that's that's pretty cool. Like I know that not a lot of people can do that. I I can fix a lot of things. I can build a lot of things. And it seems to be rare and it seems to be more rare nowadays. But I, I am proud of myself because I was, I was, didn't know, they don't make halogen cookers anymore, which I was also surprised to hear about. I thought I was just going to have to get a toaster oven or something. I don't know how else I would bake my potatoes. Uh, I didn't want to use uh, one of those air fryers. That's what people are using. The quantity that you can 
bake in that thing is amazing and I mean I guess if it goes away I'm gonna not so I'm gonna stop eating potatoes and just eat apples instead when I've been eating a lot of apples and I'm really happy about that and I guess I'm thinking that the apples are end up being cheaper than the potatoes anyway I can fix appliances I can build shelves what else can I do that's that's it I mean and I can't I can't do it perfectly I can fix a lot of things I can I can't make muscles maybe I should maybe I need to yeah I can't I can't afford to go to a um, a professional um, uh, a prof but I wouldn't trust a professional. I don't even trust doctors, let alone some kind of, um, what do you call those people? That Personal trainers? Yeah, like they would know. Like they would know more than I would. Come on. Like their information would be better. Anyway, we're done now. I think I showed you everything. So I do have... I do have things that I'm unsatisfied. That pull-up bar, I'd rather that was be made out of wood that dry mop i know that they make industrial ones that are made out of a hunt wood and metal and i would love to get one of those but again i'm i'm leaving i can't i don't want a new mop also you know what you can use instead of a dry mop a rag in one of my sticks on the floor so that is what i should probably be doing anyway i've got a lot more to clean up i've got some exercising to do um we made a really long video yesterday so if you want more of me you can go there i gotta clean up this stuff i put some projects on the bed i have to get rid of some i know i want to keep those toys so i have to get rid of some other toys and uh, one day I don't think I'll do that on that channel, but maybe I should start sorting and choosing toys on my toy channel. And I guess we'll be talking more about summer clothes in the summertime, but all I'm going to be wearing is Speedos and swim trunks. Swim trunks to ride around the city. Oh yeah, and t-shirts will be gone then. And I guess I'm wearing the tank top, the white tank tops, the white athletic shirts, the vests depending on what country, part of the world you're from, I will be using those for toy reviews now that I got rid of all of my colorful ones um, in the summertime when I have to put a shirt on because nobody wants to see those things. They don't, they don't go with toys. You can't put those two things together. That's, that's, that's unacceptable according to no, it's, it's according, it's not according to, uh, we have to take these things down. Anyway, shut up. Go get your work done. Go put stuff on eBay. What's wrong with you? Sell your stuff. You have too much stuff. And I'm talking to you, too. What are you doing with all that junk? Hoarder?